Welcome back, foul mouth fishing, all you hookaholics out there. Um, it showed up. It showed up. Our October uh, fish bolt actually showed up in October. I'm pleasantly surprised. I was expecting it to be sometime early next month, the way things were, uh, shipping was postponed throughout. So I just released the video on my September um, fish bolt that was delivered this month. But now, on the door today was our October fish bolt. So uh, we're going to crack into this and see what fish bolt has supplied for us for this cold October Halloween-esque uh, season. got our fish bolt for October. Um, we're going to crack right into this and see what they delivered. Now, last last box was pretty impressive. They uh, they actually gave us quite a few baits. They gave us a whole supply of 1-3 Fishing's uh, baits, a crankbait, a jerkbait, soft plastics, etc. Um, they gave us our rod that went with the reel that we received a few boxes before that. And now we have October's edition of the fish bolt elite level which is their top tier so uh let's crack into this and see what we got so we have our october 2021 fish vault elite uh collection work sharp sharpeners angler's best gerber or the gerber item and tackle hd all right so uh we got two four six items in this box the most expensive item being a 90 dollar item and the least expensive expensive item being a five dollar item as they assess their prices here um the last box we got had a series of lures i think they they said it had something like 70 65 dollars worth of value i did look into it it was more along the lines of like 35 40 dollars worth of baits um so you know their their assessments are a strew um they're not exactly as accurate as i like to see them so I'm not holding out much for the $90 or, you know, $7, $5, whatever it happens to be uh, for these items. But uh, I'll give them to you. And then, you know, in hindsight, we can see whether or not we're actually getting a value out of this. The thing with Fishbolt is it's $150 a month. $150 every month. So if you don't see $150 of real, uh, you know, investment return, um, you're basically losing. So... First off, we have Work Sharp Knives and Tool Sharpener for $90. Uh, combines Work Sharp's power sharpening technology, flexible abrasive belt, uh, sharpens angle glide, ceramic honing. And eh, all right, so that's what we got. We have ourselves. I've never used one of these. I've always used like sharpening stones, wet stones. And polishing stones but this is a electric knife and edge sharpener for scissors knives axes what have you hatchets um, basically it's a miniature belt sander or a tiny little sander uh, so $90 here they have some replacement belts sanding paper belts the tool to do so and you have this little belt grinder see there's your belt sander and it's got the angle already cut so you can cut your 20 degree angle and your 40 degree angle on your knife edge uh, to rehone hone your uh, your knives scissors axes hatchets what have you so that's pretty cool not something I need is it fish related no it's a power tool it's a power tool this is just at home in a uh, bespoke box for kitchen appliances and things. It's not not fishing related. Um, a large ticket item, ninety dollars as it is, but not not for fishing. Is it a hook sharpener? No, it's it's a knife sharpener. Yeah, so you can sharpen your fillet knife when you're at home. You can sharpen your fillet knife. I don't need a power sharpener to sharpen my fillet knife or my skinning knife, or what have you. It's not fishing related. Big 
no from, uh, from me on this one. That is kind of upsetting, and it is, after all, the highest ticket item at $90. So right off the bat, I've lost $90, $90 worth of my investment on that. Angler's Best Live Well Buddy. What we got here? Angler's Best. Now here's something I do like. Okay. On my little John boat, uh, I don't have a live well. I don't want a live well uh, pump system. I have looked into possibly of, design, of, of using a retrofitting one out of a cooler. Uh, I love the one that was done for a kayak uh, by, uh, uh, by a YouTuber. I'll put his name here. Uh, he did an excellent one. It was his kayak. He had uh, it drew from the from the water, filled it, circulated. Excellent. I'll even I'll link the uh, the video down below in the description. Actually, awesome thing. If you have a kayak, totally suggest watching that video and incorporating his design. Uh, if you want a really amazing, compact live well. Uh, that being said, since I don't have one for the John boat, I'm not interested in actually having one, and I very rarely fish with live bait but it is nice to have something if you catch something and you want to uh, take a let it rest in the water before you take your photos or what have you if you're getting stuff uh, situated around i always like to keep my my catch in the water as long as possible so we have this i've seen people make these similar out of everything from uh you know dollar tree uh, little um, uh, clothing baskets and pool noodles um, this is pretty cool, and this one, I will say, is a step above because it also combines the pool noodle design with a non-marring, fish-friendly um, basket and mesh. So you have this nice, fish-friendly mesh. I'm just going to tear the paper. Pair, tear the paper, not the zip ties. Uh, and a pool, a large foam pool noodle size style uh, construction we have this nice web mesh so it's hook friendly fish fin friendly all coated good for uh, just like you know my um, my trout net so you can take your fish your catch throw it in this basket it floats on the water you just tie it close to your boat or as they even have here if you do have a bass boat and you have a live well you can even put this in the live well uh, to separate uh, between the two. I don't particularly like that. It's it's hard enough when you have your fish confined in a live well. I wouldn't suggest honestly putting this in there as well. Um, even, uh, you know, in tournament angling, uh, even even taking your catch and, and you know, I, it's time for another day. But anyway, I don't suggest this. Um, at any rate, I like it the way it's designed to sit outside your boat and just kind of float uh, easy to keep um, larger fish. Obviously, the holes in here are not for keeping your baits, uh, unless you're, you know, fishing some large shad or shiners or something like that. But you're not obviously going to be holding on to minnows for uh, for bait with this guy. But that's pretty cool. And the uh, price on that is fifty dollars. Is it worth fifty dollars? No. You can make the same thing out of a mesh laundry bag and a pool noodle for two, three bucks. So you know, and some zip ties. Four dollars, not worth fifty, but manufactured. Okay, at least at least you have something that is fish related, fishing related. So uh, the Angler's Best Live Well Buddy again, fifty dollars. Gerber name brand for forty dollars. You have the Controller's eight inch fillet knife. So something to go, I guess, with that sharpener, and from a name brand that I trust. So we have the Gerber. <laughs> doesn't need a sharpener. We have the Gerber 8-inch uh, controller brand, uh, labeled fillet knife. So uh, as you can see, it comes with its own sheath and it comes with its own sharpening rod, its honing rod. So why would you need that belt sharpener when it's got a honing rod built right in? <laughs> a vented sheath so you can dry as after you rinse it off, it'll dry, it won't rust up. Um, let's see, is this what stainless steel did they use on this? Um, it's 9CR. Corrosion resistant mirror polish, sheath with sharpener, uh, hydro threaded grip, so it's got a nice grip that's not going to be slippery on you. Again, fishing related, I do appreciate it. It's from a name brand, high quality item. 
I do like that. Uh, Gerber's Fish Knife $40 value. Probably not going to need it because I have about two dozen fillet knives, including electric ones. We did get that that electric knife, that the carving knife that has fillet attachments as well as carving attachments. Knife after knife after knife. It's starting to wane on me. I didn't join a knife club. I joined a fishing and angling uh, box, but what have you. Uh, three to go. We have a Tackle HD Helgermite. So we got a lure for $8. I've had these before. Um, you can definitely get them cheaper than $8. And Watermelon Red, the 5-inch 10-pack Bloodshot. These are their soft plastic Helgermites. These things are absolutely phenomenal on a drop shot, shaky head, uh, or even just Texas rigged. Small mouth love Helgermites. Large mouth will bite these because they don't know the difference. Um, the Dobson fly larvae, as they were. It's an amazing insect. Uh, if you don't know, Dobson flies are uh, two good things about a Dobson fly. They will only lay their eggs and, and their larva will only uh, grow near very pollution-free water. So a very excellent judge if you're a salmon fisherman or you're a, a bass fisherman in, in you know, long stream fisherman. If you have Helgermite in your water here in the Northeast or wherever, um, it, it's a good indicator that that, uh, that waterway is pollution free, it's healthy, it's a viable ecosystem. They do, not, they do not rear their young in dirty water. So that's one really good thing. Secondly, when they're in this stage, the, the pupated sort of insecty wormy stage, uh, these guys, watch out, because their clamps will draw blood. They'll bite the crap out of you. Um, if they are the fully grown adult uh, Dobson fly, they'll have these huge mandibles, and they don't have enough to even, you know, pinch you. They, they, they couldn't even pull a hair out. Uh, they don't have the strength. For some reason, the longer those mandibles get, the weaker they are. Their muscles just don't, don't go to it. When they're really short in this stage they can actually cut into you and, and draw blood and cut a chunk of meat out of you, actually. Um, so, two quick uh, hints about the Dobson fly and the Helgermite, the uh, juvenile Dobson fly. Uh, these are, again, $8 3D scanned Helgermite, soft plastic. Happy, happy to have these. I have a few. It's always nice to have extras because I definitely do throw those. Um, two more to go. Next to last is the Gear Aids Heavy Duty 550 Paracord. So we've got, again, we got this uh, a while ago, Reflective Cord 550 Paracord. This is black, primarily. I guess it has this gray reflective area in it with a small, not so cheap, but still chintzy uh, little carabiner. So that's cool to have, I guess. It's $7 of value. It's something I don't want. This goes right along with that, uh, that sharpener. So now I'm $97. If you want to count the knife too, because I really didn't want the knife, you know, that's another $40 on top of that that I haven't really seen in something that I wanted. So far, the $50 Angler um, well, Live Well Buddy, that's a plus. The Helgermites are a plus, and this next item is a plus. But this next item, no freaking way is at this price, nor are the Helgermites $8. Uh, the last item on our list for 5 bucks is Tackle HD again. Uh, this is their Finesse Worm in June Bug. It's a 4.5 inch. It's obviously something that's been sitting around. You can see the label's kind of been washed out and wiped down and rubbed over. Good June Bug color. A Finesse Worm, not bad. Again, similar to Helgermite. Throw these on, uh, on a shaky head. Throw these on a... Uh, <laughs> I can glue them together. On a uh, tiny little... If you want a little tiny drop shot, it'll work well for a drop shot, work well for a wacky rig, on a mosquito hook. Um, it is a full pack. They do do full packages of items, but I'm going to say this is another overstocky kind of item. Nice to have. I never turn down soft plastic worms. Um... They always catch fish. Doesn't matter what species of fish you're going for, a worm will always catch a carnivorous uh, predatory uh, fish. So that's a plus. And something that's not on this list and not expected, but I see it in here. 
they accidentally threw it in this box. So I'm keeping that. It's off the list. It's not part of the value. But we have one three fishings uh, swim baits. Um, the churro in whitey tighties. Nine sixteenths of an ounce. It is a four and three quarter inch. Recommended a three eighths to one ounce rigging. This is a, a five count of soft plastic swim baits. Those big wide boot tail paddle tail swim baits. Three part segmented. Not bad. Can't tell you the price on these. I will look it up online and I will put it up here above my head and uh, in the editing and tell you how much they go for uh, on the websites. But it's nice to see something in here unexpected, cool. More importantly, at least this is adding something back to the value that I feel I've lost. Um, $150, was this box worth it? No, not at all. Last box, close. Good, yes, great, no. It's this ebb and flow that they have is not, not what I want. I want consistency. I want value for investment. Um, <laughs> R-O-I, as, uh, <laughs> as my friend No Redemption would put it out there, return on investment. Um, I don't see it in this. So you tell me, let me know, what do you think about this month's box? What do you think about last month's box that I already uh, released and showcased prior to this. I was happy to see this box come on time within the month. So uh, rather than get it next month, uh, we'll see what happens. There might be some changes coming up shortly with, uh, with them. We'll find out shortly. Uh, that all said, again, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. As always, I appreciate you hanging, some, hanging out with me and spending some time. This wasn't too, too painful. And uh, from me to you, happy, healthy festivities this, uh, this Halloween. And as always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.